Pastor 414 Ministries. This is Tracy, and today we're going to be in Psalm 118.8. It reads like this, It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. Oh, that sounds like a good suggestion, but can you go further on that? Sure, I can. Now, if you've watched any of my videos for any length of time, you know I love verses on trusting God. And this is no different, okay? There are times in our life when things just don't go like we're expecting them to go. Here's one that I really love. In fact, this is my favorite shirt, and it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Let me get closer to make sure you can see it. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make your path straight. That's Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Love, love, I love, love that verse. Why? Because there are so many things that come into our lives that we just don't understand, that we didn't plan for, that, that delays us, that, that seems to be this interruption in our life. And God is always saying, don't try and figure it out. It's not your own understanding. Don't go to man and say, well, what do you think about this? You always look up to God. God has a reason for things. You know, we might be going along and all of a sudden we lose a job or we're delayed on something. We, we can't move forward in a direction that we were hoping to go or something else happens or someone comes along and stalls us for doing something and we're just upset. No, don't look at it like that. Look at it as from God because see, because see, nothing happens without God's okay. God could be sending that thing into your life for a specific reason. Maybe it's to protect you from something. Maybe there's an accident coming on down the road. And so he gave you a flat tire over here because you didn't listen to him in the first place when he said, don't go, okay? Or maybe there's something else that came along. But God can close a door because he's got something better for you. We have to trust the Lord that there are things in our life that God will put an interruption in our life for a reason. Well, let me tell you this though, there are times in my life when God has interrupted me with a person or event or something that happened and I got upset. I was just like, oh. In the past, God has brought things into my life that I thought was an interruption, that something came in there and interrupted my agenda, my schedule, the way I thought things should go. But what happened then? I failed the test because of this event or this person or whatever it was. And guess what happens? Guess what the Lord does? There's a mountain out there. You go round in a circle. So that means you go round and around. And God will continue to bring these things into your life until you respond correctly and realize, this is from God. Maybe he's protecting me from something. Or maybe he's wanting me to help this person in this life. Or maybe there's something else that he's trying to do. And I'm not looking up at God and I'm just looking out at my circumstances. But what God has taught me over the years and through all these different events that come along is no, no, no. He brought that in for a purpose, whether it was for my character or it was to sand and sift me or it was to help somebody. Now let me bring it back to you, all right? Let me ask you a question. You this. What is your attitude when God interrupts your life or seemingly interrupts your life according to your plans and your schedule? How do you act? What is your attitude when that comes along? Is it the right attitude and like, oh Lord, I know you must be doing something or is it, I just can't believe this happened. I am so upset that things are not going according to schedule. So see, our response, it goes back to ah, my favorite verse in Proverbs 3, chapter, chapter 3, verses 5 and 6. Thanks, baby, my honey bunny. Um, lean not on your own understanding. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. So, See, that is my favorite verse. It's become almost my life verse when things come along that I don't understand. God is telling me, don't rely on your own understanding. I brought this along for a reason or I allowed this for a reason. But sometimes you're just not going to understand it. You just got to kind of file it in that. I don't understand why this happened, but I know the Lord is going to use it. So, Realize that when these interruptions do happen in life, they're from God and God loves you. So he's got your back. Praise him and ask him what the reason is. What is it you want me to do? How would you like me to, to respond to this Lord? And then move forward with him. I hope this helped you out. This is Tracy from Esther 414 Ministries.